Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64 with Mewix Fu. And, well, as you see, we only have 10 stars left before we finish this Let's Play. But for, before we go and do that, there are a couple things that I just want to do. Things that I want to point out that I never really showed off in the game before. And, well, what I really want to show off this episode is the different warps that I never went back and showed you guys. Um, now, I know that I've, I've gone through a number of warps throughout the game. Um, I can't remember if I've done both warps in this game, but there are a number that I just passed over that some people may not know about, like right here. This is a two-way warp. Both sides will warp you back and forth from the very start to right over here near the red hat box um I the wing cap box sorry I was trying to think of what it was um there's one other warp which i'm pretty sure i showed you guys that's in this world um by the way you can run up this i can't remember if i told you guys that but i just want to show you guys really quick as soon as mario gets his ass in gear and gets up this mountain <laughs> See, I never knew about this until I started looking up stuff for this game, because I always figured, oh, you slide down it, you can't run up it. But anyway, the other warp is right here. And that's all for Bomb on, uh, bomb on Blast, Bomb on Mountain, Bomb on Battlefield. So we will move on right away. I already showed you guys both of the warps in... the two-way warp in... whatever it's called, in... Uh, Cool Cool Mountain. That's it. That's it. Cool Cool Mountain. Get over there. But there is actually a warp in Womp's Fortress that I actually did not know about until recently. Either that or I forgot, because this is actually quite a useless warp. I mean, the level is easy enough that you don't really need it, but let's just do this quick. Anyway, the warp is... Also a two-way warp, and it's right over here. And kind of defeats my little long jump, jump trick that I showed you guys. But yeah, just stand in either of these corners. Like I said, it's a two-way warp. And there you go. Now, next off, we have to go to... Shifting Sandland, I believe. Let me just check. I've got a list. Yes, Shifting Sandland. And... I showed you guys the warp by the palm tree, which that's the one I'm pretty sure everyone knows about because you need to use it to get to the cannon. Um, but there is another warp that's inside the pyramid, which I will show you guys in half a second. Might as well meet you guys in the pyramid, so I'll see you in a bit. Anyway, I might keep that in because that was just the slickest I've ever done that. Anyway, what you want to do for this whole shenanigan is we actually have to go all the way back up to the top of the pyramid. Which will take just a second. It should take just a second. Right, it's either this pole or another one. Um... Yeah, okay. Sorry, I had to... Is it... Oh, come on. It's one of these corners, isn't it? Yes. Okay, this corner will take you up here to this mushroom that I was like, Oh, how do you get up here? And it's kind of a useless warp also, because it only gives you a uh, one-up. And there's no other use for it. And that's another one I didn't know about until very, 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 very recently. Anyway, that's all for the, for the uh, basement, because I showed you the guys the one in Shifting Sand Land, and you, I showed you guys the one in Lethal Lava Land, the one that gets you to the wing cap. So, 
the one that's under the eyeball. So next up is... Is this the right room? No. Go back. We'll be, we'll be back there in a second, but I want to go to Snowman's Land first. And... Hua! Alright, now there's a tree in the corner of the level. I think it's all the way over here, actually. Is it one of these trees? I'm trying to remember which one of these trees it is. Yes, it is this tree. Yep, and this warps you over to... It's actually a really ridiculous warp, because it only warps you... Not even that far, because, I mean, we can pretty much see where we're warping to from here. It warps you just on the other side of the ice bully, pretty much. Again, another useless warp. Doesn't really bring you anywhere spectacular, but it's one that I never really knew about, so I figured I'd show it off. Anyway, um... Oh god, we're gonna have to climb the stairs every time I, I exit out of the level, aren't I? Might just start killing myself in that case. Um, next up is Wet Dry World. So we're going to start off with... Well, we can't start off with low, le low water, but we have to get it down all the way. Sorry about that, guys. I was actually starting to have a problem with the recording and had to restart... Well, the recording, because I was dropping frames, so... Um, anyway... Just come down here in Wet Dry World, lower this. Apparently you can also jump low enough that you can start out with the water level this low, but I've never been able to do it. I don't know. But anyway, this is probably the most useful warp out of the ones that I'm going to show you, because you just stand here, and it brings you right up to the cannon, and then you can just blast away to your heart's content. I'm actually going to do it right now, because I can't remember the last time that I blasted with the water level this low. Oh! 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 Make it! Whoa! <laughs> Alright, so that makes all of them except one for this expose on <laughs> the secrets of warps in Super Mario 64. I don't know. Um, there is one other one in Rainbow Ride, but we will get to that when we get to that. Because that one's actually a very odd one. And I'll probably show it off in the level itself. So, this is going to be a short episode. This is probably going to be a special. I'll probably... I don't know when I'll upload it. But, anyway, uh, that's it for the warps. And I will see you guys next time. And we'll begin to tackle... A f well, well, begin to tackle. We've already started. But we'll finish up tackling one of the funnest levels. One of the more creative ones. TikTok Clock. And... Probably, yeah, no, the hardest level in the game, Rainbow Ride. Like, I I could not beat this level as a kid. Wait. I don't remember which side it's on. I'm probably looking at the wrong one. Yeah, it's, it's this side, isn't it? But I could not beat this as a kid. It was only until I was, like, a teenager that I finally beat it. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Super Mario 64 with Mio XFU. Take it easy.